you're sure this experiment will reveal the Chicken Man? Oh, absolutely. There's a whole subreddit on Chicken Man experiments. We're good to go. I don't know. Something feels off about this. Off? What could possibly go wrong? Oh no! Something's gone wrong! I can see that! Fix it! I can't! There's only one egg and it's gone! Ufala FFA goes national. Over Halloween weekend, Ufala's FFA students traveled to Indianapolis for the FFA Nationals. There they participated in workshops and other events. The FFA leadership team accepted a three-star national award, which is the highest rated award. The students also attended a rodeo and a concert to celebrate their wins. Here's what Officer Austin Sawyer had to say about the experience. We learned a lot of leadership skills. We also learned many things that we could use later in life that could better help us as FFA members and just people in general. Uh, join FFA, it's a fun experience and you learn a, not, a lot of new things. Congratulations to our chapter officers. An EHS alumnus has returned to take over a teaching position. On October 16th, EHS welcomed back Mr. Haney to, to teach entrepreneurship. An EHS graduate, he's took charge of our school store and is managing our DECA program. Mr. Haney has told us he's got big plans to help our students grow. I graduated from Eufaula High School. Uh, I've been living in Nashville, Tennessee for the past two years and just the community that Eufaula has. Just lots of great people, a great just community, good system, so glad to be back. Yeah, so um, from what I've heard, uh, the person that was here before me, Mr. Profumi, did a great job. Um, so I just want to keep continuing um, what you know, Eufaula DECA has been for the past um, several decades, which is very competitive at the state level, um, really helping to uh, establish a, a culture where um, confidence can grow amongst students, where um, they feel like they can achieve um, whatever they want to in life because they've been given opportunity um, to just uh, chase their dreams. What's up? It's your girl Ariana and welcome back to another episode of Tiger TV. No face, no case, but on the field, the number takes place. For the first time since 2006, the Tigers made it to the fourth round of the 5A Alabama High School playoffs. The Tigers defeated Shelby County in the first, Faith Academy in the second, and Denopolis in the third. The Tigers piled up on tons of points during the first three rounds, but fell short in the fourth against Gulf Shores. Still, our boys have a lot to be proud of.
Tiny hands and tiny feet made life complete. The March of Dimes donation event was a big hit. FBLA members went around the school and collected donations. The class who raised the most money was awarded an ice cream party. Also, the donations helped premature babies and their moms. Ms. Norris explained what all those dimes do. Okay, people should give to March of Dimes um, basically to help support families in their um, in their need. If you want to donate any more to March of Dimes, go to marchofdimes.org. Also, congratulations to Mrs. Norris and Mr. Scotch class on you guys' ice cream party. The football team, JROTC, cheerleaders, and band all honored their seniors earlier this month. Let's take a look back at our Senior Night 2023. We are so proud of these talented students. Excited to see what their future holds. Thank you to those of you joining us. We are honored to have you participate in this very special event on The Quavius Mall from Zoe Moore was chosen by the faculty and their team of leaders as this year's Mr. and Mrs. PSA Football and College and Major. The Tiger Theatre Department showed up and showed out with their performance at the annual Trombauer Competition. After qualifying at District in Opelika, students traveled to Florence to compete in their individual events of singing, acting, writing, and much more. And together, they performed in a studio theatre called The Audition by Don Zelaitis. At the competition, the studio theatre scored excellent, with Malaysia Nelson, Abby Westbrook, and myself receiving all-star medals for our performance in the play. All individual events scored superior. I placed first in my category of pantomime, Abby Westbrook and Chloe Harper placed second in the category of reader's theater, and Whitney Daniel took home a third place trophy in her category of playwriting. We are so proud of our Tiger Theater students. Family, friends, that's a good start. Right now, let's get into the good stuff. What are you really thankful for? Yeah, the juicy stuff. Juicy? Yes. yes. Juicy, juicy. juicy.
Kind of getting a really weird vibe off of you two. Kind of like it. We might have a serious job for you. Is that so? I tell you what I'm thankful for. Mm -hmm. You listen, and you charge me five dollars for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, child. I don't know what's worse, how obvious of a scam this is, or that you totally ripped this off from last season. And me. You can't put a price on good mental health. We'll see what my lawyer says about this. She's my mom. We're thankful for you! Tell a friend! Wait. You need to come help me. The lab is a huge mess. We need to... Are you okay? What's wrong? You need to stay away from me. Dude, what's your problem? You a turkey. You're a turkey. Relax, bro. He's just dressed like a turkey. Are you okay? No, he needs therapy. Yes! And a Christmas discount, only $5. You get away from me. Not Kevin Ingram. Open your eyes and look at me. Dr. Khan's classroom was a huge mess. What were you doing in there? You can tell me on the way. Yes, Miss Rashada. I'm just thankful you're not a chicken. <laughs>